<laughs> Hello everyone. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws and this is our live draw, our Wednesday afternoon live draw. And uh, on every Wednesday I show you how to draw a portrait. Today we will be drawing an older man with a beard. So if you have any problems with drawing hair or you would like to learn how to draw a beard, well, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how. Let's get this uh, screen going here. There we go. Bring this up. Bring that up. All right. It's our photo, and there's our gentleman. Put him right there. <laughs> all right. Now, now I'm all ready to go. <laughs> I should have done this before we started, but that's okay. Let's see. So, <clears throat> every Wednesday I get together, get together for about an hour, uh, Wednesday afternoon, and I show you how to draw a portrait. If you're interested in participating, we actually uh, vote in our Facebook group of which portrait everyone would like to draw. I will put up three different portraits for you to choose from, and then we take a vote, and whichever uh, picture gets the most votes is the image that we practice drawing for our live draw. So I'm gonna walk you through um, drawing this gentleman here, and uh, we'll go over some portrait basics, um, and hopefully that will give you some confidence and uh, just help you uh, just get better at drawing. I mean, really the the best thing you could do is to practice a little bit every day. So on Wednesdays and Mondays, you could always count on me to uh, putting out a new video that you could follow along and get some really good uh, practice in. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> what I want to show you today before we start our portrait drawing here, let me just come up here. <clears throat> I want to show you this idea of face placement okay so let me um i i see this uh, this mistake or this this happens a lot with beginners you know the the brain wants to line everything up square so let's say let's say on your picture you had three smiley faces okay And, and the first one, let's draw a circle right around us. Look at that right there. Okay, so that that face is placed dead center. So that, that face is looking straight at you. Now, if you wanted to draw a three-quarter view where the, where the face is to the left, well, then you want to make sure that you draw all of the uh, features to the left-hand side of the face. That's what I call face placement, placing the face in the correct side where it belongs. If you wanted to draw the person looking up, well then in that case you would draw the face toward the higher end of the body, the higher end of the uh, of the head, the shape of the head, you see? So when you're drawing, when you're drawing a portrait, um, you want to always make sure that you're shifting um, the different features in the direction that they're looking. So here's another here's another way to simplify this idea. Let's say let's say that's a sphere. This would be a center line. That's a center line there. Center line is going to be there. Okay. All the features, all the features on this side of the face are going to be foreshortened. That means they're going to be squished a little bit together. Like this is a this is a circle. Let's draw a circle here. And then if I was to foreshorten that circle, it would be something like this because it's it's foreshortening, it's shortening it up, all right? And if I was really going to foreshorten it, it would get very narrow like that. Well, the same thing happens with the face. If if you draw a face straight on, it's it's just like this. But as it turns to the three-quarter, everything on this side is going to be squished or it's going to be foreshortened versus the things on this side, all right? So for example, let's just say we we had an eye here, all right, and this is this is the, 
distance toward the center. Well, the eye over here is going to be a little more further away, you see? And the nose, let's just say, just for fun, this nose might be like this wide here, but because it's three-quarter view, it's going to be a little bit more wider on the right-hand side. Same thing with the mouth. It might, This side might be like this, but then on this side, it might be like this, you see? So just remember, as you are drawing anything that's three-quarter, uh, this side, everything's going to be squished ever so slightly, all right? Let me show you a couple other, let's use this guy right here, all right? I want to show you a couple other proportions that might be helpful. Um, I'm going to erase, erase some of this because we'll just use that head over again, okay? Okay, so this, this is my center line. And usually, sometimes people will call this the brow line or the eye line. I like to call it the brow line. That's what I use to measure with, okay? So from the brow line, you're going to get uh, the eyeballs. They're gonna pour, come off of that, just like that. Typically, this, this distance in between them is another eyeball. Something to think about. If, the, if this is your hairline, let's just say this is this is the line where the hair is up on top. From the hairline to, oh, usually the eye line. This is the, the eye line is going to go straight through the eyes. That's about a third, a third distance. From that eye line down to the bottom of the nose is another third. And then from the bottom of the nose to the chin is one more third. So just think of this as in thirds. Brow line, eye line, nose, chin, okay? The, the center of the eyes usually lines up with the corner of the mouth. You see that? So for us right now, let's just put a little, a little smile going across there. And then, of course, the corners of the nose line up with the inside of the eye. All right, the outside part, look, the outside part of the wing of the nose lines up with the tear duct, the center part of the eye. All right, see that? Uh, let's see, what else can we show you here? <clears throat> um, the little the septum here let's let's draw this a little bit closer here okay so let's say this is my no this is the bottom part of my nose like this okay and then then the wing of the nose all right is going to be there and the wing over here is going to be over here you see and if you want to draw those if you want to uh, draw those uh, you could come in like this, and then it's like the wing, the nostril is going to be a like the letter C, and then another kind of a, a letter C. Same thing over here. It's going to be like this, and then just the opposite. And here's the other alignment. This the uh, this part of the nose comes down like this, and it. Uh, the philtrum, I think it's called, and this ends up being the the corner of your mouth. I mean, the the little indent here at the top of your lips. You could do a V right there. And then you get the bottom part of your lips down here. And then usually, usually the upper lip is always going to be a little bit darker than the lower lip. This isn't always the case, but it's, it's a pretty good 
rule of thumb. All right, excellent. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and erase this. I'm just going to get rid of this and bring up our gentleman here. So we're looking at this gentleman here and he's a three quarter view. All right, so let's let's work through this together and let's go through the steps of drawing a portrait, okay? So first thing I want to do is I'm going to draw a sphere. Okay. And I'm just kind of, I'm drawing from the, um, holding my pe pencil toward the back and drawing from my elbow on this at this, at this point. Now he's looking straight at us, a slight, a slight three quarter view. So let's, let's put that center line just off center. Let's put it right over here. This will be about the, the center part of his face. And it, he's almost looking straight at us, but well, let me show you something going on here. We always want to look for these marks right there. Those, those would be the temple, the temples of the head. And they're really great. I always look for those because those are a great um, landing mark, a landmark that I can then build all of my features by using measurements from these. So if you want to know where they are, take your finger, just hold them. They're two little nodes that come off your skull right there in the corner, okay? All right, so let's, let's just kind of put a line in, and, and you can see that that is slightly angled. You could kind of see that his head is slightly angled. All right, let's put one temple and look at this. The temple is right about there. Okay. And now the other one, just like I showed you, it's three quarter view. So it's going to be further out like this. Now, what, one thing that's interesting about if you, once you establish where the temples are, the head will get flat along the side. See, when I look at you straight on, my head is very flat. It's very square because I'm looking straight at uh, straight on at you. But the minute that I turn to give you a profile, you will see my head is quite round. So that actually, that actually can cause some problems with, with us trying to figure out how to draw a head. So, on a three-quarter view, you have both something that is flat and something that is round. So on this on this right side here, let's just let's just put kind of a line that's going to suggest the flatness of his head over there. And right here at the temple, let's come in with like we've just cut off, sliced off slice that um, sphere, the edge of that sphere off. So it's also going to be like this. You see, and then this is gonna come down like that. And we can even erase this over here. Now we've, now we've removed the sides of the head. All right, brow line there. Okay, so we can come up here now and establish this would be about his hairline. When we're when we're gonna get into more detail and draw, I believe it's called his turban, um, that is covering right at his hairline. So let's take that distance measurement. 
And there's a third. That's going to be about the bottom of his nose. And then take another third, and that's going to be about the bottom of his chin. And I'm going to make mine just a little bit bigger <clears throat> while we focus on the features, and you can see me draw those. Okay, let's let's slowly work our way down here. So at the temple here, this is going to turn the corner and come back, come back along the side of his face. I'm going to put a straight line down here. That's going to help me know where the, the, the center part of the side of his face is because his ear his ear is going to come right over here. Let's continue with our construction on the side of his head where he's going to drop down. Now we can't see this because this is covered by the beard, but this is the corner of his jaw and you could see it's I'm pointing to it right here on my own head, okay? And then this is going to curve around just like that. And then over on this other side, it's going to curve around just like that. <clears throat> hey, Darlene, how are you? <laughs> All right. Okay, with this, let's let's do one more thing before we start getting into the detail. Now, you know, I'm I'm looking I'm looking at his body, and and this his back shoulder is is straight, but it looks like this 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 shoulder's coming straight at us. So let's let's kind of just we might we might adjust this. <laughs> okay, you're gonna just watch. That's okay. You could, this will be recorded, so you can always come back and look at it later. Let's look at that shoulder just right about like that, okay? And then this one, let's just kind of indicate that it's coming in this direction. And I'm just going to put some surface lines to tell me that that's kind of coming towards us, you see? But we could come back and do some extra detail later on that. And if I go too fast and you need me to slow down, just give me a shout out. Just say, please slow down and I can do that. That's the beauty of watching live. All right, let's let's start with his nose. That's a good that's a good place to start. So the first thing I want you to do is draw the gabella. Gabella is is like a keystone shape. And then his nose is very rounded. And a lot of times when I'm drawing a nose, I like to think of almost, it's like a man's tie. That's a good, good general shape to think about. All right. 
right, let's get this nostril in. It's, it's quite a bit high up over there, and this one is peeking around the edge there. You see that? This one's coming over here. Let's, there's, that, there's that little C again. Okay. And this is where, you know, it's, it's, this is the center point. See, I've shifted, I've shifted my nose slightly to the right because he is doing three quarter view. <clears throat> we'll come back in a little bit detail later on, but that's a good, that's a good starting point. Okay, there's about my eye line right there. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome. <clears throat> Darlene says she likes the examples to compare. Well, good, I'm glad. I mean, that's why that's why we go so slow because you know these these things you really want to eventually memorize in your head and they will come with time it's just the best way sometimes to teach or to learn is repetition and we just keep repeating over and over again so it's all it's wonderful okay so let's continue now be behind the nose and the chin is what we call the barrel of the mouth the barrel of the mouth is if you know your your teeth are very round so on the bone that's that's round your your mouth forms on that so that's it kind of has this barrel barrel to it so you want to drop in that barrel here because especially in an older man uh, this is what's going to help form the cheeks and you'll notice you'll notice that again this this side is a little bit wider than this side over here and that's because of the three-quarter view now and then his chin is gonna sit on top of this but today you're you're really lucky because uh, we'll be drawing a beard instead of a chin <clears throat> All right, corner, corner of the eye usually lines up with the wing of the nose. You see this, and the same thing on the other side. And then the the width, the width of the eye is usually there's like a like an eye, and then an eye in the middle, and then another eye. It's it's there, the width of the eye is measured about the same distance between the eyes, okay? So let's just use that and realize the width of our eye is going to be out here. But but look at this. It should be a little bit more angled. Can you see that? It's slightly angled there. And the same thing. This is slightly angled as well over here. And it's angled because he's squinting. You see what I mean? And plus, because he's an older man, as you age, your 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 skin isn't as tight. So it all starts to droop. <laughs> it all starts to droop. All right. This is the uh, Drooper Society, right? Okay. All right. There's. right. Let's come up here and form this. It's a nice... He has a nice eye because it's... Uh, it's, it, there's a slit, small slit there, so you're gonna. It's a little bit easier to draw, I think, having the smaller slits than this big, <laughs> big eye filled with eyelashes and all that stuff. All right. Okay, it overlaps, and what I mean by that is, look at this here. If if this eye is like this. If you look closely now, you see it, it overlaps. 
all right and so we definitely want to make sure we're doing that so we're going to do the same thing over here and of course there's a if you look closely it's there's a little bit of a bag probably from the being outside Oops. All right, let's continue on here. So then this is going to come down and then we're going to get right into this cheek. Okay. Let's get this uh, barrel of the mouth over here and, and on this side this comes from behind <coughs> behind the uh, the nostrils there okay and I learned a new phrase create a confinement line okay great what is a confinement line I I read this I read this in an art book the other day and I really like that terminology you know a confinement line if, if you think of if you think of this idea uh, if you had a bunch of cows or let's say yeah cows and you wanted to keep them in a, in a certain area you might set up a certain amount of a fence and so these cows would be stuck in that area well a confinement line is kind of that you're you're gonna draw an outside barrier and on the inside we will put details so look at this here Underneath his nose here, I'm going to quickly just kind of gesture a confinement line of of this mustache on the right hand side there. You see that? And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's see. This is coming down just up to the outside of his eye, right? This has a slight S curve to it. <clears throat> okay, let's let's get his eyebrows in next. Eyebrows are not that much, they are really low here. So let's just kind of come in here. I'm just going to do this sort of thing right now. And we'll come back in with a little more detail here shortly on those. But I do want to show you this. Look at this here. This is interesting to me. Look at this, this, and this, you'll see this in foreheads a lot. This, this area, this is like a muscle. That is like that that muscle allows you to control your uh, your eyebrows. So if you want to, you know, if you're doing this up and down type of thing, well, that is that muscle there. And then there's another one right here doing the same thing. All right. So let me get rid of those and you can actually start to see them. And we want to uh, definitely put those into our drawing. So let's see here. That's going to come up here. And then that's going to come up here. That's going to kind of form that wrinkle, right? This is all all about oh, all about construction. All right, let's get this cheek in now. This cheek, we can curve around like that, right? And then we could put one over here as well. The 
this morning in our in one of the classes I teach is called the daily draw and we get together every morning for about a half an hour and on Wednesdays we always look at something that has to do with portrait and today we look took a deep dive into how to draw ears and I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret here there's actually three parts to an ear that you might want to remember there is the question mark there is the Y and then there's the C the little C okay yes that is a backward C I just drew <laughs> let me let me show you up here how that works okay so this is an ear that's side view so let's just say if you there's your question mark you see that and then you'd draw another one like this see this And then in here is the Y of the ear. And then you have the little C. So look at this, look at my ear here as I turn my head. Can you see the, can you see the Y in the middle of the ear? So when you're out, when you're out at the grocery shopping or out, out and about, Make sure you start looking for the Y of the ear and it'll be like, oh, wow, there it is. All right, so let's get the top part of his ear in here. And of course, the uh, let's get that letter Y in as well. And that's about all we could see because the rest of it, the rest of it's going to be uh, covered with uh, hair. All right, so I'm gonna make my head just a little bit smaller now because we're going to uh, start to add this turban. I'm gonna erase this as well. All right. All right, let's let's draw one of these confinement lines because I think those can be very helpful. All right, so here we go. Let's draw the general shape of this turban, but I'm going to recommend that you only do it with straight lines. And you're like, what? So let's just come in here like this. Just try and get the outside edges. We'll, we'll come back in and curve it just a little bit here. There's this temple, so there's this this is coming way up here. You see that? Sometimes it's easier to draw a straight line, get your general proportion down, and then you can cur then you could go in there and cut it. It's almost if you ever watch a wood carver, a lot of times when they're carving something they start off by blocking it out and then they go and they curve curve their edges okay all right let's see what else here now his arm here is going actually come on top a little bit let's get this beard in here so this is the side of his cheek and I can see we're going to draw another containment line and you can once again, you can you can kind of make a, a straight line to start off with. It kind of comes up. There is, it's to the outside of his ear. Look at that. Okay. He's got these sideburns that are coming down. This is the side of his head. Okay, now I need to make an adjustment here with my turban. That's, this is why we do this sort of thing. I Look at that, I put mine way up high. I made mine way too big.
All right, let's let's get in some detail here. All right, so I'm gonna start working on this nose here. You can hardly see anything in those eyes. Just a little slit there, right? <clears throat> you could add a slight tone. Now, our first, whenever we add tone, you want to go with one even tone. So all you're going to do is add tone where you see it. We can come back in a little bit later and add more tone, but for right now, we're just going to drop in an even tone. <clears throat> so how do you draw hair? That is a great question. <clears throat> so if you, if you think of this idea of a ribbon, a ribbon is a good example. You know, if, if this was going to be a ribbon, it might go like this. Right? There's a piece of a ribbon for you. And, and then right here, maybe the surface lines are doing this sort of thing. See, that, that's going to give me a sense that this is curving down. And then here... Gonna curve in that direction and then up here it's gonna do the same thing okay so when you draw when you draw hair or a beard I want you not to think of individual hairs but I want you to think of mass of how things will uh, uh, be more volume. All right, so let's look at this here. So let's start with this with this part of this mustache here. It's it's coming down. I use some varying dis varying distances with my uh, with this whole mass here, and I I'm thinking of this as a whole group. S curves and C curves. <clears throat> Look, this is almost a, a straight line there. here and I'm gonna leave some white here thinking that up as a mass <clears throat> this whole area of his beard is tone it's in shadow so I'm gonna first thing I'm going to do is drop a tone drop a tone in that area Okay, so I'm I got this little little ribbon right there. You see that? And then got that coming in there. So I'm just I'm just working on the right side here. Thinking of volume.
Now we get some more tone here, right? Let's get this other part of his beard in here. <clears throat> now this guy is uh, um, has his skin color is going to be a little bit more on the darker side. So let's just add an overall tone. And what this will do is when we get to his turban and his white beard, it will, it will pop, it will create some contrast. Okay. Look at that right there. Look at the side of his head. It's a little bit darker. I probably made that too dark, so that means I'm going to have to darken this side just a bit more. Yep, now I'm just going to add some details. And I'm just kind of looking where the darker values are. Bit of a shadow in his ear back here. <clears throat> All right, let's think about it. This turban here, okay? Let's let's get this first. Let's draw this containment line. And I'm just, I'm just kind of like piecing it out. These different parts that are sp spun together here. that <clears throat> his ears right on the other side here I'm 
nice S curve here. Okay, I'm just looking at the overall shape here. Using overlap. Now on the look on this uh, on this cheek over here, there's a little bit of a reflection. So watch this. Let's add just a little bit more dark value here, and we'll get that side of his face to pop off. Add some of those wrinkles there. Let's see now. Let's get this shoulder back here. So that's shoulder's gonna be like this, and then his clothes are gonna overlap here. All right, let's take a look at this turban here and figure out what areas are going to go a little bit more darker than the others. <clears throat> and then this whole back section of his body is also going to have value on it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get some details in this turban. It's like it is like hair in a way. S curves here. Your time with this turban, get it right.
think that's looking pretty good there. Hopefully yours is looking just as good. So at this at this point now we're now it's just a matter of uh, just working your values, finishing up some of your detail, and you should have yourself a pretty good drawing by the time you're done. Do post it in our Facebook group so we all can share and take a look at it. And uh, that's what we got for today. Listen, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this has been our Wednesday afternoon live edition of How to Draw the Human Portrait. There's plenty of other uh, videos that we have on the same subject. Tune in every Wednesday at the same time as we continue to draw portraits of uh, people um, of all ages. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.